Right, hello everyone. I've just finished my unboxing of the 40k Conquest issues and I've got a little bit extra for you, which is all falling over. Uh, the the extra uh, Series 3 40k Conquest set. Um, basically, it's a painting guide, uh, some extra models and some paints, which is fine. For the cost that it was, um, it works out really well. Uh, so I thought, why not? Why not get it? Um, so I'm going to set my camera up again, because I've literally just finished the last unboxing, and do an unboxing of this. Um, now this will be quite a short video, um, which isn't a problem, but this is a little bit extra. So I will see you in a moment when I set the camera up. Right, so here we go. This is the Silver Templar Painting Guide. Um, which, uh, to be honest, I haven't bought it for the painting guide, I've bought it for the, spe the models and the uh, the paints. So, there you go. Um, now, I have opened this just to see it's all here. And it is. Um, so, yeah, so you can see, obviously, the um, the paints that are here. So, what have we got? We have uh, Storm Shield, which is uh, supposed to use on uh, transfers we have administratum grey baldor brown i believe baldor brown uh, fire dragon bright avalon sunset uh, pink horror Mournfang Brown, Balthazar Gold, Screamer Pink, uh, Screaming Skull, Moot Green, uh, Caliban Green, and uh, Surlin Mud. Um, now I found it a bit weird that they've done 13 and they've only had a, this box thing for, for 10, but it is what it is. Then we've got in here. Let's take this box away. I don't need the box here. Now this is a sprue of Primaris Interceptor, inter, uh, Intercestors. These are your basic uh, troop choices for your Primaris army. The difference between these and what we've had so far is these are multi-part. Um, the other ones are quite basic models. These are quite uh, more, a little bit more complicated. Um, so they give you the options of putting different shoulder pads on, uh, different heads. I think there's five here. I'm pretty sure there's five. They wouldn't give you half, uh, less than half a squad, I wouldn't think. Uh, so you, you could build a sergeant and you could build grenade launchers and stuff, which is cool. Um, I think the Primaris uh, Intercessor box is 30 something pounds, 32 pounds. So if you're looking at half of that, um, quick math, 15, 16 pounds. It's not bad. We have... Now, I'm not sure if I've seen this model before, but it's another, a new Primaris Lieutenant. Let's zoom in on that. Now, I think I have seen this model before, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so he's got a, auto, a bolt pistol, power sword. Um, no options to give him a bare head, but that's fine. Um, and he's, uh, an, again, another multi-part model. So, yep, yeah, pretty cool. Now, I know that's a model I don't have. You get a load of bases. Look, come on. You get... Let's zoom back out again. You get a big transfer sheet. Now, this is for the Silver Templars. I'll put it the right way up. It would help. Now, the Silver Templars are uh, 40k Conquest's own... Imagine Space Marine Legion. I would assume somewhere along the line they've worked with Games Workshop to come up with this, the Silver Templars. Um, and that's fine. 
Uh, now, I, I don't use transfers. Uh, I generally, if people are asking for transfers, I, I give these out to other people. Um, but that's fine. That's not a problem. And then on to the painting guide. How to paint silver tempers. Now, this has got a plastic seal. If I just let me break this a moment, I will give you a quick flick through the, the actual painting guide itself. If I can get the plastic off. Uh, I hate vacuum packs plastic. So there you go. Now, I've always said that these Games Workshop painting guides are quite good if you're, if you're new to a hobby. Um, I mean, the last one that they did, I used quite a lot. So, right, so how to paint Silver Templars. So, gives you some nice, um, let's move these, these sprues out of the way. Gives you some nice pictures of how they should look and how you can build the actual ones that you get in this set. Because uh, they, they name them and they give them specific uh, characteristics and stuff. Um, the contents, obviously. What the Silver Templars picture is like, what they look like, and how to use this guide. Um, then it's going through the, the names. So this is the Lieutenant. I'm not even going to... Escadon. Okay. I'll try and pronounce some of these names. And then the Intercessor Squad, Akasa. Oscar, I don't know. <laughs> I'm bad at pronouncing names. And then it flips to being that way up. So, how to how to build the intercestors. Then how to build a lieutenant. Now I'm going to get this all kinds of mixed up. So, how to build the intercestors and the, the sergeant. More how to build intercestors and then what they should look like once they're done. Um, then, how to paint. Your introduction to painting Silver Templars. Uh, showing you what brushes to use and stuff like that. Now, I've never used Storm Shield because I don't use transfers. So, there you go. Um, showing you some painting techniques. You've got base coating, uh, shading, um, layering, edge highlights, details and basing. Shows you basics how to actually get a model um, to a decent painted standard. Um, now, they've left this a little bit late into the magazine. Uh, talking about how to prime models. Now, you should have been doing this from the start. This should be issue one. Um, now, they've sprayed it silver by the look of it. Or have they just painted it silver? Either way, uh, a spray paint, a simple spray paint of silver, and it'll be it'll be ready. Right. So it's moving on to the paint, this is the sergeant, I assume. So the first thing you're going to do is paint the ribbon, and then the weapons. So this is Abaddon Black. And this is all base coat, and then base coating. So the shoulder pads are yellow. The purity seals are pink, uh, and then the, the actual cloth themselves is Rakar flesh. Uh, Balazar gold on details, uh, Mefston red on some of the other details. Nope, going the wrong way. Um, talking about how to, um, how to, what is that, how to, shade the armor now it's weird that they've done that you, you would just do it uh, non oil I don't know why you would do uh, add on black with mixed with water but there you go um, yeah I'm gonna mess this up so so shading on the other colors and then how to actually layer the armour. So you've got layers of highlights. How to paint details the, on the highlight, uh, highlights on the details. Then how to paint 
uh, the other colours. So you got the yellows, the um, screaming skull on, as a highlight, screamer pink with pink horror as a highlight, uh, wild rider red uh, with, with fire dragon bright as a highlight, and same there, stormhost silver uh, to highlight the silver. There's more layers, so shoulder pads. Um, well, this isn't this is the scroll work um, and the parchments. Painting flesh, so face of the sergeant there, and then onto painting the the helmet and the shield. Now this is quite quite detailed. Um, Free handing can be difficult for some people, um, so I like that they've done that. That's pretty cool. And then the stuff like the eye lenses and the helmet, uh, the scope on the bolt rifle, the or specs. And it's just basically going through and picking out all the details. Um, so yeah, it's lieutenant's eyes a different colour. Uh, as are his braids and his helmet, and then how to paint a little bit of power on the lightning on the power sword. Then going through how to apply transfers. Now I've never got the hang of doing this properly, so I don't. That's why I don't do transfers. But it has been a long time since I tried. So now I'm more likely to do freehand that. It's not too hard a detail to do. So. I might even paint a silver templar up just to see what it's like. How to base coat your models? How, how to base it? How to base your models? Not base coat. And then, obviously, the finished article. Uh, so that's the lieutenant. Now that does look a lot like the Blood Angel lieutenant, but I know it's got different bits on it. But we'll see. Sergeant uh, and the, the intercessors. So that guy's got grenade launcher, auxiliary grenade launcher. So yeah, that's your... Is there any more? Yeah, showing you a bit more of the army that you could have painted with the 40k Conquest set. So you've got the Aggressors, the Reaver, uh, Primaris Lieutenant, uh, Hellblaster Sergeant, and the Incestor Sergeant, Librarian, Primaris Ancient, uh, Captain in Gravis Armour, the Apothecary, and the Chaplain. Um, and I believe that is that. Oh, there's um, a little bit of back history on it, on the Silver Templars, with another mission, which is pretty cool. Um, all these missions I find are, are going to be quite good, because it just throws little bits into the game, and then it gives you specific uh, roster sheets for, this, for the two squads. A nice bit of artwork on the back so yeah it's all in all it's uh, quite good it's not too bad a little paint guide so yeah that's that's been the unboxing of the uh, silver tempers paint guide um, now this was 35 pound I believe um, so if you look at the paints there's 13 paints in there two of which are big pots now I know from having bought some recently that these bigger pots are four pounds something. Um, the smaller pots, I think, are two two fifty or three pound. Um, so just the paint pots alone, it makes up the cost of the actual set. Uh, the Primaris Incestors is a half set there, so they're about sixteen pound, and the Lieutenant as well will easily be a fifteen pound model. So it's quite a good bargain for for the set. Um, you can get a painting guide in there as well. So. I thought why not go for it now the next set the next um thing you can opt out to the s4 they, they're calling it is a, a, a storybook for the silver templars now i don't I'm not too bothered about that um i find i'm only bothered about reading books about the armies i'm bothered about so silver templars i'm not not that fussed about so i probably will opt out of that if i've got time to um, but yeah, that's been the end of the unboxing for the uh, Silver Templars um, painting guide. Um, if you've liked these, please feel free to subscribe and throw me a like uh, and comment. Are you painting the Silver Templars? 
how far have you got with them? I've got a whole army of space marines which are basically untouched, which I could build as silver templars. Um, except for the repulsor will be for my blood angels. But there you go. Thank you very much. I will see you soon. Bye bye.